second to our kitchen. Today we prepare medieval pasta with cheese and spices from a beautiful 14th century cookbook written in Venetian vernacular called Anonimo Veneziano. We start with the ingredients. We need flour, eggs, aged cheese and spices, black pepper, cinnamon and grace of paradise. First, we grate the cheese and grind the spices. There are several recipes for pasta in the medieval sources. In the Middle Ages and Renaissance, pasta is very common among all social classes, as we read, for example, in Boccaccio's The Cameron, Sacchetti's 300 Novelle, or Savonarola's Dietetics Book. Habitually, pasta was prepared with just water and flour, as in the recipes for lasagna and vermicelli we made in the past. Moreover, there are plenty of recipes for stuffed pasta, such as green ravioli, or kinds of pasta made with more ingredients. For example, gnocchi, or the one we are preparing today, in which we will mix cheese, eggs and spices to the dough. As we have seen in the past, preparing ancient Roman pasta and meatballs. However, the origin of pasta is not medieval, since it dates back at least to ancient Greece and Rome. To know more about ancient and medieval pasta, check out the videos listed in the description below. The author doesn't specify which kinds of spices to use for this recipe. We chose some among the ones he mentions in his cookbook, but you can use the ones you want, for example ginger, nutmeg, white or long pepper, Indian bay leaves or cloves, all very common in the Middle Ages. This time we used the grains of paradise, a spice intensely aromatic, but not excessively strong, which gives an interesting complexity to the dish and recalls a bit cardamom. In Anonimo Veneziano's cookbook, grains of paradise are called meleghette. Black pepper and cinnamon are among the most used medieval spices. They appear in most plates, as well as saffron or ginger. Since the antiquity, there were at disposal three kinds of pepper, black, long and white. Black pepper was the most common and less costly, whereas long pepper, intenser and more aromatic, costed more. Anonimo Veneziano uses it frequently. We mix the flour with eggs, grated cheese and spices. Depending on how salty is the cheese you are using, you may also need a pinch of salt. We must keep aside part of the cheese and the spices, we need them later. We are aiming at a soft dough, but it must hold together enough to be shaped with our hands. We suggest starting with one egg per serving, then adding flour and cheese in a one-to-one -one ratio. We ended up using two eggs, about 120 grams of cheese and a bit more of flour. But the exact amount may change depending on the cheese you use and the size of the eggs. We shape the pasta one finger long according to the directions provided by the author. We used two times the same cheese to make the pasta and serve it, but if you want, feel free to experiment. We chose pecorino, but parmigiano was another very popular cheese in the Middle Ages, mentioned by Boccaccio, Anonimo Toscano, and the 15th century physician Pantaleone of Confienza, author of a dietetics book about dairy products. In the Middle Ages, there were plenty of kinds of cheese, both fresh and aged, used for whichever kind of dish.
If you want to know more about ancient and medieval cuisine and read the translation of historical sources and cookbooks, check out our Patreon page, in which you find once a week a new article about food history and once a month a new translation. In addition is available our new book about food in ancient Rome, titled Ancient Roman Cooking. You find it on Amazon in English and Italian, in both ebook and printed editions. If you want to support our work, you can also buy us a beer or purchase our merchandise. You find all the links in the description below. We cook the pasta in chicken broth for about 15 minutes. The cooking time can change considerably depending on your dough. We use the broth, but the author writes nothing about it. However, from the medieval sources, we know that pasta was cooked either in salted water or broth, made with chicken, capon or other kinds of meat. We suggest following your taste, as the medieval cooks always recommend in their texts. We drain the pasta and serve it with grated cheese and spices. This pasta is incredibly tasty, despite being very simple. The use of spices in the dough makes it intensely fragrant and complex, whereas the cheese provides a sapidity and saltiness to the dish. It recalls passatelli, a traditional Italian dish, which is halfway between a soup and a kind of pasta cooked in broth, prepared in the part of Italy in which we live. Passatelli are made with grated bread instead of flour, and the dough is softer than the pasta we prepared today. To prepare them, the dough is squeezed into a specific iron tool called ferro dei passatelli, or a potato ricer with large holes. However, the flavors are quite similar. Both the recipes are easy to make and very quick, surely worth a try. If you serve this medieval pasta with broth, it becomes a perfect winter dish, warming and hearty. If you're interested in ancient foods and flavors, subscribe our channel and consider supporting us on Patreon.